Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. Indeed, the roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed, I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. It does appear that they are lining up, Jim, in a 5-4-1 formation. Well, it's an attempt, Peter, to put a solid bedrock in place and negotiate the game from there. If they can absorb what comes towards their box in the early stages, then the midfield can begin looking for more of the possession and can start thinking about a more probing influence on the contest. It all depends on keeping their goal intact, so they won't have to open up and indulge in, in taking risks at the other end. And we're underway. Hearts are having a tough week. It is a crazy schedule for them. Yeah, it's a tough spell, and guarding against fatigue for the players is key now. Tiredness can be the blame for more injuries, so it's an opportunity for the manager to shuffle his pack. In comes the cross. Just off target. Oh, maybe it was one of those moments when he just caught it too well. it away all Brighton clearance and very necessary hearts were imperious when the two sides last met and the fans are asking for more of the same now the balls come loose and the chase is on Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? He's got options out wide. That'll be a throw in. Hit into the middle. And that's been levered clear. Hearts clung on for the three points in their last game. Positive results, though, build momentum. He's left his man. All Brighton. Oh, that's nice. Aimed in towards the centre. Oh, that's not going to find its target. Forward it goes. Another side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. He can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Knocks it away. He's gone for it! That's a half-decent try. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. A promising ball and he's onside gets up to head it and oh he's got that completely wrong
Good thing. Well, it's a crossing feast here, but I'd advise them to keep a variety in their play to avoid being found out and stopped. Yeah, nobody's going to argue with that. Good thing. He's making a foray down the right. Good challenge, he just stood firm. It's a good foot in there. He's come loose. Plays it out to the wing. And helps available out wide. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Boateng breaks on here. Out wide to the right. All Brighton shakes the shoots. Aimed long and direct. Still waiting for the first goal. It's gone out for a throw in. Five minutes till the break. Pushes it out wide. A nice touch. Has it out wide now. Up for the header! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And it's hoisted clear. Half time, so both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. <laughs> so there was the first half. Hearts ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Arts clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Plays it out to the flank. Looks to dink one in. And that's been leave it clear. Time for a change in personnel. <laughs> Out again for a throw in. Just brushed off the ball there. It's a loose ball. And that's a throw. -in. Can he finish? And he's straight offside. Oh, we're talking fractions. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, what they've got to realise, Peter, is that they won't get away with excessive force for long, so they're running a fine line now. Needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Now a chance to break. And in the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Tries to get it forward quickly. Can't get the better of his opposite number. He's got options out wide. Sticks in a foot to win it back. That's surely a foul free kick. Towering header! What about it? 
One perfect ball, one perfect header. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Aberdeen take the lead, 1-0. Well, when the going gets tough, etc., um, they can still turn this round, I think. Aimed long and direct, and very well to intervene. All Brighton. Hoists it high. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Can he finish? Goal! They have come roaring back! Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Well, Brighton clips one through. Cherchi not easily shrugged off the ball. Good try cutting inside here. Going through. He slid it through. And he heaves it forward. To throw in. Aberdeen, their final change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Hearts showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Well positioned to make that interception. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. Went in for a slide tackle and executed it cleanly. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. A very good game of football, no winner. But both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and it ends all square.
welcome everyone to a part of the world where the game of football is so important. There is a healthy tension and expectation building up here as we head towards kick-off. It's a bit grey overhead and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. Notwithstanding that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good. There's a smashing noise from both sets of supporters and the game will be underway very shortly. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Testing times lie ahead, Peter. The problem is that it's hard to draw on any positive at the moment, even though they'll claim that they're not quite getting the breaks just now. Lady Luke has seemingly turned her back on them and, and shunned their calls for help. If they have more to them than we've been seeing, then it has to emerge here. They understand the consequences if that does not happen. So it's down to business here. Over to the left. Snodgrass looking to get on the end of this. Can he finish? And that's been levered clear. Hearts were imperious when the two sides last met. Fans are asking for more of the same. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. What an adventurous run from a defender. Firmly met. Has he picked him out? Goes for goal! And that really should have hit the net. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. It's broken loose! Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Snodgrass fires it in low. Cleared without complication. Here it is now, surely. Can he get the shot away? He's gone for it. He's done it! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Hearts take the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Could move up a gear here. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's in, shakes the shoot! Aimed long and direct. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Boateng. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Hearts get it back again. Forward it goes. Good clearance and very necessary.
necessary. Played back in. Cuts it out. Could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Can he score? They've done it! They have come roaring back! And the first 45 minutes are up. Genuinely interesting game here, very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. It's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, and a goal each. So we're already into the second period. Out towards the flank. And he's onside. Into the box. Oh, it's gone in! Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I suppose it can happen to anyone. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Get it forward quickly. Out to the left it goes. Now can he finish? Aimed long and direct. Well positioned to make that interception. And it's Boateng. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know. Shoots! Great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And it's hoisted clear. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it, this is what they have to do. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Found his man. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Pressure stays on. It is a corner. Time for a change in personnel. And he just whacks it away. And that had to be more accurate. Boateng, questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Defenders on the back foot. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Snodgrass. Good ball. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Aimed long and direct. It's a promising ball. There's no flag, he's away! Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Now it's Churchy. Churchy, looking to shoot! So close 
extra drawing level. When it needed something decisive, he showed too many mixed signals. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Hearts opting to make a double change here. Dukes it to safety. Pushes it out wide. Hearts with another corner. And he's there to cut it out. Knocks it away. He's gone out for a throw in. And that's been lever clear. Certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Plays it out to the flank. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. goes the final whistle well that does not help interpret the performance as you will but the key truth is that they lost any reflections on what you've seen Jim Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. So that's got things on the way. It's come loose. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? 
And it's Snodgrass. Snodgrass tries to get it forward quickly. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Turns and goes back. Dundee, whose last result owes so much to the astuteness of their manager. Yeah, his hand was forced somewhat, Peter, because of the circumstances. He had to bring on goal scorers, but he was bold in going for broke. To Massive leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Forward it goes. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a run. It's Churchy! Goal! That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Plays it out to the wing. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Looks to dink one in. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. He's good for it! He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Aimed long and direct. And the counter is on. Lobs it in gently. Boots it to safety. Ball's gone out of play. Hearts leading by one and looking very comfortable on it. Out to the left it goes. Snodgrass puts it into the middle. Played out to the right. It's an untidy challenge, free kick given. But he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. And that's been leave it clear. All Brighton floats one over. Cherchi looking to get on the end of this. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. 
Well, here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Hearts go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Snodgrass. Could move up a gear here. Walk forward. What does he try from here? Hearts are looking to put things right here following their narrow defeat. Dinks one in. All Brighton set up one goal so far. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. Can he find a finish now? And here's the chance to counter. No, no way through there. Churchy. to get it forward quickly. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. He has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket, it's just a stern lecture. Boateng, shoots, he scored! And there's the goal they've been looking for. A pretty simple finish in the end, what do you think, Jim? Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Well, it's an inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Hearts themselves a two-goal cushion. He's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. And it's Snodgrass. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Hearts still contemplating when to use their last remaining substitute. Well, they can break here. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Snodgrass. Looked like 3 0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. It's the through ball. Breaks on here. He's made sure that that won't get through. And now they can launch a counter. And he's 
straight offside. Hearts have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired... The... And that's that! Hearts always look the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Hearts will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset.